What's up guys, JP back at you once again, bringing you guys day number 20 of my 8th annual 31 Days of Horror. Of course, this is the 2019 edition here in 2020, finishing it up. And for today's review, I decided to go with something I haven't seen in a very long time, and that is Night of the Living Dead. Of course, it's not the 1968 version. I've seen that fairly recently, actually a few times in the past couple years. Uh, I'm talking about the 1990 version, the remake. Uh, this film was directed by Tom Savini, one of Tom Savini's few directorial efforts, and most likely his best effort, but he also had the groundwork from John Russo and George Romero in the original 1968 Night of the Living Dead. Uh, we all know the story that that film ended up in the public domain due to a copywriting issue. I think they like changed the title or something like that. And so this was the attempt to sort of recoup the lost funds from one of the most known and played horror films of all time in Night of the Living Dead. Uh, so this was actually put out by Twilight Time originally, and it went out of print. It was They were doing those limited releases. Uh, so here is a Columbia Pictures and Sony release here. Uh, of Night of the Living Dead, which I don't know when this came back in print or when this was released. I just ordered it not too long ago and finally got it in the mail. Uh, so I was very happy. I think it was only like 15 bucks or something like that. I've been wanting this title on Blu-ray for a very long time. And Night of the Living Dead 1990 is a film that I've always liked, but I've always loved the original way more. So I was curious to see how I'd feel about it now that many many years have passed since I watched it and it's basically the same story with some differences so it follows Barbara and her brother Johnny visiting her uh, a relative's grave I can't remember which their father maybe and they get attacked in the cemetery and she flees to this uh, Johnny ends up with his neck broke Barbara flees to this house and it's a little farmhouse, and then she meets Ben, and Ben comes in after she's attacked by zombies, and kind of takes charge. Uh, there's also four other people that have been hiding in the basement, uh, the Cooper family, and basically, um, they must survive the night of the living dead, because there's zombies everywhere. Uh, some differences in the story here. One, uh, the probably the most notable is that Barbara is much more of a strong presence in the film. She kind of faded into the background of the original, and she's much more um, of a capable presence in this film. Uh, I don't know if I really like that so much. Not because I don't want to see Barbara as a strong character, but the character of Ben was so well done in the original that it almost competes with him. And I'm not sure if I like that. I understand the reasons for doing it. Um, because Barbara is a hysterical, crazy woman in the original, you know. And kind of a uh, little derogatory, maybe. Um, so, I get the change. I'm just not sure... That it works with both of them being this strong character. Um, ben is awesome as always. Um, he's played by Tony Todd in this one which is a great performance and really feel, feels like Ben. He did a good job with that. Uh, he doesn't really make it his own so much as sort of just um, doing an interpretation of the original and I'm okay with that because it, it, it works. Um, Bill Mosley's actually in this as well. He plays Johnny at the beginning. Uh, they changed a few little other things, like um, how the gasoline, when they're trying to get gasoline for the car and stuff, uh, that's changed. The Most of the end is changed, like the very end, um, with a new ending and stuff, which I'm glad they did because it, you know, when you're remaking a film that's like, beat for beat, it's kind of refreshing to not know exactly what's going to happen. But I think that they added some gore as well. Um, more blood and, and zombies and stuff like that, which is welcomed. 
Uh, overall, I think it's pretty good. I, I really do. I think it's a pretty good movie. I'm just not 100% sure that I'm sold on some aspects of it. But, again, I'm glad they did something different because just seeing the same movie again in color would be no fun. So, it's actually refreshing, you know, if I'm not comparing it to the original, like, directly. Um... It's a really fun movie, and I think that it, you know, had the original ever came out, this would be fantastic, you know, it would be, like, super groundbreaking or whatever, you know. I mean, I guess not since Dawn and Day and stuff, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, overall, though, uh, I, I like it. I do like it. I think it's a, I think it's really solid. Uh, when doing those comparisons, there's some things that I don't like, but taking it as its own film, it's really good, especially, you know working with what it had. I mean, the Night of the Living Dead story is fantastic in itself. Uh, there's some changes, but, you know, I welcome them. It's, it's, honestly, it's, it's a, it's a, I, I like this movie a lot. It's, it's good. Uh, I go ahead and give it, I'll go ahead and give it a, hmm, an 8? I think an 8 is pretty good. Yeah, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys tomorrow with another review. Peace.